What's up guys and gals? If the most common pickup line in your town is, is your heart a catalytic converter? Because I'm about to steal it. Well, you're in the right place. <laughs> okay, I know, bad joke, right? Uh, but in all seriousness, uh, I just purchased this alarm and I wanted to test it out and give you guys a little tutorial on how to use it and what my experience has been with it. In no way, shape, or form am I uh, affiliated with um, this, this brand. This is uh, by Fast Guard Alarms. Uh, I just saw on a Car and Driver magazine, um, did a little article and they re recommended this product. So I thought, hey, what the heck, I'll try it out. Uh, it's inexpensive, it was only $30 on eBay. I'll put a couple links in the description down there for you. So before I get into the, uh, the install here, uh, you might be asking yourselves, you know, why is this important? Why would I need something like this? Well, there's been a huge uh, theft of catalytic converters lately. It's always kind of been a problem, but it seems like it's been more of a problem recently. And thieves can access them really quickly. They can saw them off within a couple minutes and uh, they run anywhere from two to three hundred bucks on the uh, underground crackhead market. I don't know what, what you call it, but thieves are taking these is because they have precious metals in them. There's uh, rhodium, palladium, and platinum in the converters. So that's why thieves are taking them. I think rhodium is like $20,000 an ounce right now. So Tacomas are particularly uh, targeted because they're easy to get under. Um, you know, you don't need to jack up the car. Thieves can get on there real quick, saw it off, and they're on their way. Uh, other cars that are being hit particularly hard are Priuses, <clears throat> uh, hybrids, uh, and typically the reason why thieves like those is because uh, they don't use as much of the metals, the precious metals don't get used up as much because they're hybrids. So uh, typically there's a little bit more metal in those. So that's why hybrids get hit um, a little bit harder than uh, most other cars. The other one I heard about was uh, F250s get hit really hard because the catalytic converters are bigger and they have more precious metals in them than um, just some of your other standard cars. So um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's jump right into the install and uh, you guys can see what it's like. Okay, so let's open it up. Let's see what's inside here. All right, so this is everything that's inside the box. You have this uh, remote here. This is the actual alarm. This is um, a heat shield that you put on the alarm. These are some steel clamps that you use to put it around uh, the piping. And then the instructions. Okay, so the instructions are pretty straightforward. Uh, the first, they have it in different steps here, but the first thing you're gonna do is pull the plastic tab on the actual alarm. Okay, so I pulled that out, made a little beep. Okay, and the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take this uh, heat shield out of the bag, and then it says to remove this 3M material, the sticky material, and then stick it to the back side of your alarm here. Okay, so you can see I've done that here. It's pretty easy. Okay, so the next step, you're gonna wanna take out your uh, wire clamps here. There's two wire clamps, and you're going to place them through these little holes on the side here. <clears throat> like that and then you can set that aside for now and then on this diagram here it says so it says locate your catalytic converter locate your muffler and you're going to want to place it behind both of those two so <clears throat> you could connect it here uh, this could be a possible connecting point or even here on your your tailpipe uh, and the reason for doing that is uh, for two reasons. Uh, it gets too hot up here and it could potentially um, burn up your alarm. So you don't want to do that. And the other reason you want to maybe 
put it over here is um, thieves could easily notice uh, the alarm, potentially cut it off, smash it, uh, hide it uh, as they're stealing your converter. So you want to place it somewhere that they're not going to be uh, uh, noticing it. So somewhere back here. Okay, and then the next step, it says you're going to, once you find a good spot, you're going to want to use the two wires, wrap it around the pipe, but you're going to want to leave a 1 8 inch gap there. Um, if you get it snug real tight, it's going to potentially burn up, even with the shield. So you want to leave a little gap there. That's also going to create a little bit of sensitivity if it gets jiggled. So make sure you uh, put that gap in there. Okay, so if we go under the truck here, located the actual catalytic converter, which is right here. So it says we want to place it behind that. So we follow this pipe all the way back, and we find the muffler right there, and we want to go behind that as well. Okay, I've located the best spot that I think that'll work. This is right after my muffler here. Uh, there's a spot right here that I think I'm going to attach it to. So you simply wrap these metal clamps around. And you insert them to the opposite end, like so. Okay, so I've got the clamps on, and they said to make sure to have your gap in there. Uh, one eighth inch gap. So you can see I've got a gap there. And so it's supposed to just dangle there uh, because the way it works is um, if you're just sitting here, if your car's just sitting here and a thief comes and starts uh, taking a hacksaw to your, your pipes here, this thing's going to start jiggling and it's going to start to beep and go off. And I'll do an example of that, but uh, that's the purpose. And you sh you'll have these thing, these uh, metal clamp, the metal hanging down here. You can... Uh, fold these back out of the way Okay, so there you have it. I've folded them back just like so I kind of out of the way and um, Some crackhead was gonna come Steal my uh, converter. He would not notice this at all. So it's out of the way Which is great Okay, so we just installed it. Let's do a little test uh, It comes with this remote here where you can arm it and disarm it if you push this button here to arm it, it should make a beep. Yep. And then let's do a little test. Let's see how sensitive this is. So if I come up here, just give it a shake. Wow. So it, it just beeped, gave me a warning. Now if I shake it again, it should uh, set off the alarm. There it is. And then to disarm it, you can push the unlock. Okay, so here's some of my final thoughts. The install was very easy. It's inexpensive. Um, the only thing that I don't really like is this remote, I guess. You always kind of have to be aware of your, um, you know, armed or disarmed. So I guess you could keep it on your keychain and... Um, just remember to turn it on or off, uh, you know, based on what you're doing. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just leave it in the truck. And if I feel like I'm in a spot where, you know, I'd like to turn it on, I'll just arm it. And then, uh, you know, when I get back in and start driving, I'll just disarm it. So I think that's going to be the best option for me. Uh, I'll leave a couple other links in the description so that you guys can check out um, maybe some cat shields if you're more interested in that. That's probably going to be your best option for um, deterring thieves uh, because, uh, yeah, it's a shield that blocks the converter. So 
I didn't really want to spend the money on it. I'm not really in a sketchy area where I feel like I, I need it. So uh, I felt like this was a good, happy medium. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you made it this far, please drop me a like or subscribe or don't. But I'd prefer if you did. So uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.